And still in the National Assembly is teaching time, they say, saves nine. Believing this adage, lawmakers in the Green Chamber are expressing concern over what they call slow motion in compliance with resolutions passed on the floor of the House that provide security in parts of the country ravaged by banditry. To this end, the clerk of the House of Representatives has been mandated to forward all security resolutions to the House of the House to the Office of the National Security Advisor and the House Committee on Legislative Compliance for Action. National Assembly Correspondent Mitari Ikman reports on deliberations at Wednesday's plenary. Sequel to a motion by Minority Leader Kinsley Chinda and 28 other lawmakers, the House notes that the spate of insecurity in some parts of the country is instigating food inflation and high cost of living, hence the need for proactive steps by security agencies. Unless the House of Representatives matches its resolutions with actions, the faith that the citizens have in the House will win. The House mandates its committees on treaties, protocols and agreements as well as legislative compliance to investigate the implications of external loans, especially with Chinese entities. To prevent another repeat of the P and ID scandal and to prevent a situation where Nigeria's sovereign asset will be threatened both home and abroad. The bill for FCT's statutory supplementary budget of 98 billion 500 million naira for capital projects passed second reading alongside other establishment bills. The establishment of Federal College of Education Special Duku will play a complementary role in the existing college in Oyo State and will serve not only the people of Duku from the state or the northeast but the entire nation. I therefore employ my honorable colleagues to support the second reading of the bill, which seeks to establish the Federal College of Nursing and Midwifery Amasoma by a state. Urge the Federal Ministry of Environment and other relevant agencies to take a holistic approach to containing gully erosion minerals in these three communities of Yobe State. The bill which seeks to establish the Federal College of Nursing and Midwifery, Amojinike, Enugu State. For the second reading of the bill which seeks to establish the Federal University of Agriculture Tumba in Cross River State. A resolution to allow pregnant women access to free medical treatment from public health institutions during an after delivery was also passed by the House. That the government allocate an annual budget to public health care institutions to fund the health care services to delivery to the citizens, particularly pregnant women. 21 bills passed first reading at Wednesday's plenary, including the Nigerian Parliamentary Services Trust Fund Establishment Bill 2024. From the National Assembly, Mitaire Ikben, NTA News.